So how do you respond to that? Well, God exists because? Because? Because he's, uh, he possesses what's called a Sadie. God didn't come to be from something external to himself. So. Yeah, that question assumes God exists, exists. It's just asking why does he exist? The question is assuming his, exist, his existence. It's asking why does he exist? It's mm, a good point. So begging the question. So now it's a different question now. So you're asking why does he exist? The question is supposed to be, you believe God exists, why? Why do yeah. you say or and because he, What's your reasons? Because I believe he revealed it to people everywhere. Mm. So what's that? Now, what why, now why don't you believe that God exists? Oh, that, was, that didn't take long, did it? Blimey. Because I believe he didn't reveal. Yeah, he didn't reveal himself to me, so I guess I'm justified in believing he did. Well, I was like, what does is, what is reveal mean? Because I don't actually know. I've heard many different people say different things about what reveal means. Example, J. Robin told me reveal mean, just means show. Right? Some people reveal mean that like they have some sort of personal experience. Some people think reveal means that some sort of innate knowledge. So... When you say that God revealed it to me, what do you actually mean? Uh, what I mean is that uh, there are uh, things within the universe that are observed by my five senses that lead me to believe that these things did not come from a cosmic flatulation in space billions of years ago. That things perfect. Happened. So that's perfect. That's so now. I now you're yeah. just saying that now well, I understand perfectly what you mean. When you say a flower reveals God, you're making some kind of inference, right? You're saying that I can look at this and so through some sort of line of reasoning, the conclusion is God. What's that line of reasoning? What's that line of reasoning? Yeah. Not yeah, it doesn't, understand the question. it doesn't necessitate reasoning. Excuse me, I'm not talking to you, John. <laughs> Go ahead, Beckel. I'm not, I'm not quite sure I understand the, the question. Well, when I asked you what reveal means, you told me that you see things. And through seeing those things, mm -hmm. you get to God exists, right? Well, you know, I think... Um, things have been revealed through uh, God's word. God's word says this is how the universe came to be. And no, hold on. Let's, 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 just, let's not go to that yet. I mean, because I know there's different types of revelation. But I think the flower is the easiest one, right? Do you think that a flower reveals God? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. And by reveal, you mean shows or indicates God, correct? It, it shows indication that it was created and there was a sentient force, uh, i.e. God, that brought it to be. Right. So when this whole thing about revealing, you're just basically doing what we're doing. You're just making some kind of inference, right? Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. So you see a flower? Something, something, conclusion, we all, God. We all have three so fill in the blank. I think he might be busy with his kid. We see a flower. Question mark. Mm. Conclusion, God exists, right? There's a yada yada in the middle. How do we get to fill in the blank? See, this is what I point out to everyone whenever one of these Christians says the word reveal. Because they get, it's like reveal is like smoke and mirrors. They get distracted. They don't even actually know what it means. But when you ask them what reveal means, they're just talking about an inference i'm not talking about an inference i'm not talking to you john i don't, don't address me while i'm talking to Vickle, please well i guess it could either mean like look at the trees or it could mean like uh some kind of spiritual experience right but if, well he said it's not that though mm, right well if he just means look at the trees, then yeah, how, how, why would that be revealing? Well, it's not. It's not just look at the trees, right? It's I see a tree, something, something, something. Conclusion: yeah. God exists, right? Yeah. I'm asking for what that something is. 
So when they when they're talking about reveal this, reveal that, reveal this, reveal, they're just talking about reasoning. But I don't actually ever hear about the reasoning part. That's true. That's true. Well, what do you think, Tim? It, it is reason. It is reasoning, and I'm quick to be. I'm quick. To say so, so what, that, what exactly are you looking for when you no, say? Yeah, sorry about the noise in the background. So, what exactly are you looking for when you say uh, when you when you're um, you have the objection about reasoning or something like that? What would you? What exactly are you looking for? You looking for something that would convince you of the person's position? You're saying P, therefore Q, and I'm not, and that doesn't follow, right? I'm asking for you to fill in the blanks to why Q. So I say God exists. I believe God exists because number one, it's revealed through his word that he exists. And number two, the things that I see and experience with my five senses. And let's, let's, can I, we focus on the flower part? I know you're, you're now you're talking about the Bible again. <laughs> But we can, I'd be happy to talk about that too. You are talking to a Christian. Yes. Okay. I mean, you talk to another a theist sort, you might get a different response, but I'm assuming. Right, but we don't really have to talk about the Bible yet, right? Because when you see a flower, the flower indicates God, correct? That it was created by God, yes. Right. So we see a flower, something, 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 God exists. I'm asking for what is the something, something, something. Because you don't just get to God exists because of flower, right? Uh, I guess I'm not understanding your question and your objection. If I said, I see a flower, therefore God doesn't exist, what would you say to that? No, I'm, I'm, well, I'm giving you something that's based off of, I'm giving you a belief that I had that I haven't yet to see uh, objectively uh, refuted. So that's what okay, I'm- Okay, so, so. So now when you say it's reveal- a I, It's a presupposition. Uh, hold it's on a presupposition? Second. Yeah, everybody has presuppositions. How is it a presupposition if it's revealed to you? No, I, no I'm presupposing that God exists. You're presupposing well, God exists, how, don't you? Give account, that's how I'm able to give an account for for everything that I give answers to. Don't you think that the tag is a valid argument? Uh, I'm not really familiar with the tag that much. I, I've heard it. The presuppositional about, argument, the transcendental argument for God? Yeah. yeah. You are familiar with it? Uh, I think a little bit. A little bit. Uh, okay, well... Something like, um, if intelligibility exists, God, God exists, um, there's intelligibility, therefore God exists, something like that. If X, then Y, uh, X, therefore Y, something like that, right? That's the transcendental argument. Hold, I know you've heard this term uh, many, hold, many hold, times. Hold, hold that thought, hold that thought, hold on. So anytime, anyone who's listening to this, I don't care if it's a replay, you're in the room, you're in the audience, when Christians say reveal, you need to just ask them what they mean by that. Mm. Because most of the time, they don't even know what they mean by it. It's just you a, can ask it's me, what Tom. I, well, that will certainly John Lee, stop know. addressing me. Stop addressing me. Um, reveal is oftentimes used in situations like this because they don't get pressed on it. And they just, it's just like, they don't even, you know, it just somehow skates by. Somehow the word reveal yeah. is so cringe. The arguments or the argumentation gets confusing with theists who have a low view of philosophy, logic, but wants to give arguments. This is where you have people who say, well, I'm pre-sup, I'm this, I'm that, but when they, but will give arguments. We'll try at least. Thank you, Tim. I, but see, this is what I've been saying forever. But I, I know I'm in a minority um, when it comes to apologetics. It's just, but I always say it's this side of the 18th century. Emmanuel Kant, people like that, David Hume, did a job on the church with argumentative theism. So now we're confused about these things because we want to have, we want to be in rooms like this and give arguments. But we have such a low view of philosophy, which has been forever the tool used for argumentation. And so we, 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 we appear to be um, 
if not contradicting ourselves, you know, absurd or just, we just don't, we, we can't be understood. It's unintelligible. Like the guy was saying about Dart's argument, he said, some I understand, some I, that's because we want to have a type of mixture of want to be argumentative, but then want to pre be um, fidious or presuppositional as well. I believe it because the Bible, but that's now, that's, that's not given a rational argument. That's faith. I mean, I'm not saying I have anything against it. I'm just saying the lines get crossed and it's, and we, and that's because of that. We just, we just, we think you, we hear rational, we hear fly. Oh, that's, you know, it's a sin. It's, it's wrong. It's not, you know, if you, so then you may as well just say, well, the Bible says the Bible says, but if you do that, then this room is not for you to argue because now the question would be the source you're using to present your arguments. Is that reliable? Yeah. So I don't know. It seems like the question was God exists because, and the answer after kind of teasing it out is because I assume that he does, which is not well, satisfactory. Well, remember, I remember. Jeff just has faith. Jeff Echo just has faith. And, you know, um, I'm, I'm not really um, at a point in my life where I want to like really be you know, go after that type of position anymore. It's just you know, whatever. Okay, I'm back briefly for a limited time only. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I'll I'll admit uh, off the off the bat that uh, when it comes to these kind of in depth philosophical discussions, uh. There, I do suffer uh, some limitations there, so I will let you guys know that ahead of time. Um, but uh, as a Christian, uh, I don't have a problem with uh, just simply having these beliefs that uh, God exists, that things uh, happen for a reason. There's everything exists for a, a, a specific purpose. Um, you know, can I articulate that in a in a academic and philosophical manner? Uh, no, probably not. But um, I don't see any strong uh, refutations to uh, my position. So, I mean, if an atheist is just telling me that they're not convinced by a person's declaration of the existence of God, well, that's, that's, that's not an argument either. I mean, that's an argument, but it's not anything that can be fully substantiated. Well, we, we don't know your position. Yeah. Your position is just, I assume it. So what? Well, how do you know that I'm assuming it? I didn't say that. You, I assume you it. said it's a presupposition right. and that we all have presuppositions. Yeah, but that's be, just because one has a presupposition, that doesn't mean that it's solely an assumption that cannot be substantiated. Mm. Well, then, then substantiate well, I mean, <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, that's what I was saying before. I can give you my reasons. That doesn't mean just because you're not convinced of it that it's not true. But we we it can't give you an objection unless you tell us the reasons, right? Well, you already tried to give an objection, and uh, we haven't heard the reasons. Just, you just said that, a flower exists, therefore God exists. Well, I I didn't really hear a satisfactory objection to it. It just just a discrediting and just disregarding. Well, look, look. Here's the objection: a flower exists, therefore God doesn't exist. It just straightforwardly doesn't follow. Okay. Okay, fine. Right. Okay, Look, let me uh, let me just ask sure. you, just sure. just actually think about this for a second, right? No, no, I've, I've thought about it. Trust me, I've heard this argument. No, 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 hold on. Listen to what I'm gonna not say. Not really convinced right? with uh, any uh, any object uh, objections to it. Okay, okay. If I said a flower exists, therefore God doesn't exist, what would you say to that? Well, I I wouldn't buy it. Okay, why? Because it doesn't follow. Okay, isn't that follow. Pretty much what you were telling me earlier. Well, that's your belief, though, isn't it? Would that would that be your belief? So that would be What's under the, the supposition that no God exists, right? Is what my belief? If you wouldn't make the claim that a flower exists, therefore no God exists, would that be a statement made based off of the presupposition that no God exists? No. I, I don't okay. know why the inference works for you, but it doesn't for us. I so, so wait a minute. Somebody says a flower exists, therefore no God exists. Uh huh. Where, where are they basing that uh, claim on? Where, are they, where are they basing that statement on? Upon? Apparently, I mean, this is a mirror image of your argument. Presumably, you think that it follows, right? I'm saying that 
all things come to existence because of a cause. And that cause is something sentient. And that sentient force or entity is God. That's what I'm saying. Now, you, you can disregard it and say you don't like it, and that's fine. That's not going to affect, affect my paycheck in any way, shape, or form. It's just you just telling me that you just disregard it. Okay, so are you, are you agreeing that a flower exists, therefore God doesn't follow? Or... No. <clears throat> Wait, say that one more time. You don't agree. Say that, say that again. I'm starting to get a little confused because it seemed like you're agreeing that okay, flower exists, therefore no God doesn't follow. If, but if someone if someone were to tell me a flower exists and that's proof that no God exists, okay. Well, personally, I wouldn't buy it because of my own presuppositions. Okay, see that as a as a as a as a non you know a nonsensical statement. Okay. So so okay. it's nothing to do with the faulty inference. You have a different well, presupposition. But if somebody would say a flower exists, therefore no God exists, my next thing would be to question, okay, what are they basing that upon? How do they know that the, the existence of a flower indicates no, no God? See, so if somebody's making a statement like that, are they doing it arbitrarily just to try to tra uh, trip up a Christian or a theist? Or, or are they I mean, doing it just Look, I don't know why he's talking about this. Just assess the argument, right? We don't have to get into any kind of meta discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. Okay. To respect that, um, <clears throat> not many people will, will, will say that, um, but Look, it does come in hand. thing is, I mean, you don't need to know any philosophy or to understand I mean, that. I look at a flower, therefore God exists. It's the same saying, I look at a flower, therefore God doesn't exist, right? Neither, right? Yeah. It's not, this is not fancy. Philosophy. I mean, that's, that's, it's not so much knowing philosophy, but it's being philosophical. No, no, it's being I'm logical. Sorry, I don't, yeah, yeah. I'm not agreeing it's philosophical. There are no words used. There's no syllogism. It's just like, I look at a flower, therefore God exists. Like, a six-year-old would be like, huh? And then if you tell the same six-year-old, I look at a flower, therefore God, no God exists. And she'd be like, huh? Because both are just non sequiturs, right? Well, right? the point is, if you're going to use that type of inference, like, mm. what couldn't you believe? Yeah, inference? I look at a pizza, God exists. I look at a pizza, God doesn't exist. I mean, I, well, I'm, I'm you're sure trying you guys to get heard... something else, perhaps, right? But you didn't flush it, flush it out. Uh, well, I mean, that's the part that uh, I, I think where I'm lacking, I guess, uh, in, at least uh, in this case, uh, in lacking ability to convince you in well, particular. Well, it's not about, con it's just about <laughs> making sense. I mean, we're not probably not going to believe it anyway, right? But at least make some sense. Yeah, of course. That's why I have no problem with idiots like Jack trying to re resort okay. to a personally. See, yeah, I but think... it's, this is like, this is like the most base type of inference. That's okay, we're brother. talking about, right? It's okay, baby. Look, look, Vekko, I mean, like if I say, I ate a club sandwich for lunch, therefore Vekko is going to be an astronaut. Does that follow? No, it's a non sequitur. Right. Does so it make I'm, I'm asking. Right. So when you say flower, therefore yeah. God. But if I give you an explanation, if you ask me for the evidence of God, and I'm telling you that things that I see in the world, okay, uh, convince me that there is a designer and there is purpose behind these things. That in that's the, that's the same inference we're all laughing at. You're just like expanding on the on, on what you're okay. saying. But what what why do I need more than that then? So because we what, we agreed it doesn't follow. What's your, what's your reason? Okay, so if I ask you the same type of question for God doesn't exist because what are you gonna say? Because I, I you're gonna I see say the flower, well, therefore you're, gonna God say, you're not you you have no evidence that God exists or you don't believe God, right? Right. You know there are there are plenty of arguments. Um, for I'm sure they are. <laughs> yeah, the are. question are they sufficient well the you know that may be but there are arguments right of course there are so arguments okay. for everything but just because i don't have the ability right now anyway to uh v verbalize it to yeah you, it doesn't mean that there are no arguments you guys come on man you guys have been in this thing you know google plus 
Discord, yeah. Clubhouse, yeah. you know, this kind of thing for many, many years. You've come across many, many Christians sure. who've provided you all kinds of educated, far more educated uh, responses mm -hmm. uh, to your questions and objections more than I, uh, better than mine. So let's let's not uh, yeah, but, come on. Yeah, but look, the fact that you can come up with something to reconcile some kind of conflict in the God worldview, the Christian God worldview, I think it's not as virtuous as you actually think it is. I'm not quite sure I understand. I mean, you. Are you well, saying that uh, you, you're not, so you're not convinced, therefore it's not, you don't find it virtuous? No, I'm just saying, what I'm saying is, look. Because it sounds to me, you, I'm hearing a bunch of subject, subjectivity from you. I'm not hearing anything really objective. If I'm telling you that uh, God exists because it's been revealed through his word, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and, and naturally speaking, I can pick up these things from, you know, one of my five senses. Um, mainly, you know, things like a flower. How is that not subjected? Well, I, I guess, but how, how would it not be? Uh-oh. You're just asking me the question, but I'm, I am, oh, that's, I'm a, that's, a, from, that's a big yeah, problem for you. If you need it to not be subjected. Well, that, that is, well, that is my, uh, my presupposition is that God exists. So, um, and, and, and that's why I would say such a thing. Now you don't believe it. Uh, and, and I understand that. Uh, but on the, at the same time, whenever I hear an atheist come up with an argument against the existence of God, I, I find it very uh, unsatisfactory myself. And you can always come up with an answer, right? Well, whether it's, you know, you know, subjective or not, uh, there's always some sort of response, whether it's a knee jerk reaction uh, that makes no sense or there's something really meaningful to it. Doesn't right, mean and if you think about it, you'll come up with something or you'll read about it and somebody will have some kind of answer to the objection. And when you, when that happens, you find some solace and you're like, Oh, huh, whew, world you defended. It's still real. Right. <clears throat> well, uh, again, I, I think uh, I haven't yet heard any real meaningful uh, reasons for the non-existence of God. <laughs> yeah. But this is what I'm talking about. Look, look, I don't think that this virtue of being able to find come up with something is as virtuous as you think it is, right? And I tell this to, to Theus all the time. I, uh -huh. It's actually very, very difficult to have a knockdown argument for almost anything, which is why I say if you think it's such a such a virtue that you can deflect this or that, you know, the with you can def you know, defend the Christian God concept with, you know, coming up with this or this resolution, I will happily defend the Star Wars worldview against you or anyone. And I can come up with something. Too. You think I'm joking? Falsify the Star Wars worldview. Oh, trust me, man. dude, you're talking to a Christian. Okay. I believe that Satanism is real and uh, demons exist. So of course uh, you can use anything to convince people. Come on now. Um, I, I will say this. Um, Oh man, you said something. What, what did you just? I don't even understand what you just said. I think well, you you brought up the uh, the example of trying to convince people of Star Wars, right? Isn't that what you? you no, mean? no, no. Did, did I you just say Star Wars? Wars? I was I brought up Star Wars because I think that I can do what you do with Christianity with Star Wars, right? Okay. You yeah. think it? You think it's a real virtue to be like, okay, they came up with this objection, this objection, this, and I found answers for all of them. I. I Patch the ship up, right? Every hole that sprung, I got put a finger in it, right? I can do that with Star Wars. It's yes. not as great as you think it is. Okay. That's what I was saying to you, that it doesn't matter what kind of argument was going Somebody's going to be convinced of anything. You could this is a matter of this. It's not a matter of convincing, right? Uh, yes, it is. I, I can actually come up with a resolution to the supposed contradictions that you're going to come up with. Right? And, you come up with and if I can defend Star Wars worldview okay. better, as good as you okay. can defend the Jesus Christ worldview, really, okay. is it okay. so, is it really, really that great that you can come up with an answer? Should you really feel really satisfied and feel solace when you come up with a rebuttal for this or that? I can if Should I want you? to. I can if I want to. And why would that be a problem under the non-believer's worldview? Why would that be a problem? 
I, I can believe anything I want, right? As long as I'm not infringing on anybody's freedom or or uh, what are you talking freedom. about now? Man. But why 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 would it be a problem for me to buy into any type of uh, argument for Star Wars and believe that it's ultimately? Ver- you know, I'm not, it's not about believing in Star Wars. It's being about. It's it's it was about being able to rebut objections to the Star Wars. World. Okay, whether you're it's being rebutted or defended and properly defended from somebody's worldview. Okay, what difference does it make either way? What so what if, I, if you were to argue with somebody say that Chewbacca exists, uh, but I can't prove he's in another planet right now, uh, and the person you're talking to uh, just believes it? What difference does it make? The, dip- the significance is that you're on par with the Star Wars worldview. Okay, but do you believe? Okay, but if the person is that a comfortable is that a comfortable position for you, Beckel? I, I guess what I'm trying to ask is if if it comes down to you, you have to be quiet. Okay, if it, if it hold on one second. I've never gotten a person to actually try and assault the Star Wars worldview. Not a single person. Do you know that? Mm. A single person. How can that be? 